uh, this is my way of the project mo project master calculation setting yeah um, as you can see the calculation is already set it up as you yeah as you can see there are some green points right over here here and here and actually over here and here <clears throat> these points are very important for calculation these are made by a left click and you can delete the green points using the right click button so then also I'm gonna use uh, up down left right arrow button buttons and uh, left bracket and right bracket buttons as well but I often use the left click and right click button for calculation setting these are very important uh, <clears throat> for calculation I think and then this is these are this is already set it up so I'm gonna change the setup file <clears throat> this is my uh, my calculation file so I'm gonna make the new calculation file by copying this one for example I'm gonna put uh, Davis for example uh, Tasku is uh, my name actually so I'm gonna put the Davis for example the calculation setting is the uh, depends on your eye. So yeah, I'm gonna change task to Davis, for example, like this, and then I'm gonna start to play. <clears throat> yep. So. <clears throat> This is not set up the calculation. So there is no green points, right? So <clears throat> I'm gonna set up for that. And also I'm gonna I don't use the calculation bar. <clears throat> Instead of calculation bar, I'm gonna use uh, my hand and the cube. The first I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna use uh, these keys. So for example, when I put the up, up up key it's going looks like this it's gonna move like this way yeah you know I put the down button it's gonna look like this and up 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 and what's gonna happen is that when you see the same view it's gonna be the up button it's gonna be like this and down button it's gonna look like this uh, I use these keys for the, the my hands are changing my hand size so I need to set up like up 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 yeah almost there my hand size is almost close to the hand, virtual hand oops wait 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 well, it's gonna be like this okay the next I'm gonna use the left and right quick button a lot of left and right uh, allo buttons uh, when I put the left one it's gonna look like this you probably gonna see a little bit uh, you know changing like this and right button left the button right button yeah I don't actually use the left and right button for calculation usually but yeah, if you want, it's up to you. And also, you can use you can use the left bracket and right bracket buttons. When you put the left bracket, it can look like this. Yeah, we'll see, like this. And when I put the right click button, it's gonna like right bracket button. It's gonna look like this. Yeah. Yep. So I think this is the depth. Like right, left bracket and right bracket is for the depth. Maybe. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again because I just messed it up. Uh, yep. <clears throat> 
make sure here. Then, yep. Gonna put up, down, side, down, down, down. Oops. Up, 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 Not that much good. Mm, it's okay, but down, 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 up, 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 up. Mm. Okay, maybe fine. Then left, but it does not much. Now I'm gonna put the left bracket and right bracket, left bracket, left bracket, left bracket, left bracket. It doesn't change that much, but yeah, we will see the angle, the angle of your hand is gonna change maybe. Uh, when I put the right, right bracket, right bracket, right bracket, right bracket. Oops. No angle, I think. The depth? Uh, yeah, sorry, depth. It's forward and depth, I think. When I put the left, 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 uh, sometimes it's gonna be like this. And I'm gonna put the right, sorry, right bracket, 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 right bracket. Yeah, the angle is going to be changed. Um, um, it's fine. I'm not sure it's fine. Right. Left. Oops. Left. Sorry. Uh, left bracket, left bracket, left bracket, left bracket. Yeah, almost there. Left bracket, left bracket. You don't need to be, you know, uh, fit exactly. You don't need to be perfect at this time. Yeah, left bracket. Yeah, I think it's okay. I'm gonna be to the next step. The next step, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, the mouse buttons. Uh, make sure your uh, mouse buttons are gonna be here. And I'm gonna put the right grip button. And after that, I'm gonna put Sorry, I think I need to put on the screen over here. Yep. Then when I put, when I move my mouse, you will see the mouse maybe. Yeah, you can see the mouse. Yeah, you can see the mouse. Yeah. Like here. And I'm gonna put the left button. Yeah, you can see. Oh, can you see that? No. Oops. Is that? Oh no, the opposite side. Yeah, you can see the 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 green point. Yep. And then I'm gonna when I click, click the green point, it's gonna you know the the green point is gonna stay. And then when you drag the left click it's gonna change this looks gonna be like this but yeah it looks gonna be like this but I, the first what I'm gonna do is I often use the center of I often change often click the center first and then I'm gonna put like this yeah, it's gonna look like okay. And then after that, I'm gonna move to the left edge and, you know, the edges, like over here, here, and here. And then I'm gonna put more points. When I put like this, yep, it's gonna change like this. I just put the left button and then I'm just gonna. I just dragged like this. Yep. And then also, if we want, if we want to delete for this point, you just what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the right button. 
Okay, so the, when I put the white bottom, white bottom, yep, um, it's gonna be like this. When I put the right and left bottom, it's gonna, you know, like this. So I'm gonna do it again. Left bottom and dragging right, right now, then changing like this. Okay, then I'm gonna put, you know, I can't see it, it's just moment, so I'm gonna do this. Yeah, and then, yep, and I'm gonna move in my hand over here. Yep, I'm gonna put the left click button and then changing, but it's kind of strange, right? So I'm gonna change, but you, you can, you can do, you can click over here, but it's gonna be strange. If the distance between this and this is closer, it's gonna be so so much crazy like this. So you can't do it. I think you need what you need to do is uh, uh, you need to have the distance between these. <clears throat> but I think it's okay. And then, uh, yeah. And then I'm gonna put the left bottoms. Uh, it's gonna look like like the left bottom. It's gonna look like this. Then I'm also gonna do it the same thing. Left click and move, but it's gonna be strange. So I'm just cancel. Sorry, uh, my web camera is sometimes is gonna go. On. So yeah, but I but I'm gonna try that again. Well, as you can see, there's a there's a green point over here. Yep. And then yeah, there, there's a one tips for the the calibration. Because you need to see the the closer and uh, far away, and closer away and far away as well. So you need to care about that. Yeah, it's okay. Right now, it's okay. If it's not good, if it's not good, I need to set up again a little bit like this. I'm doing like this, and then you can cancel sometimes, and yeah. I recommend you to put the, the edge of uh, the put your point on the edge. It's better. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Maybe it's fine. Yep. Yeah, this is how to calibrate for the roster. And then I'm gonna put the, the save button. Don't forget the save button. You're gonna put the S button to save. And then that's it. When you want to see the how the calibration works, uh, you probably gonna select the this one, AR camera uh, rig. And then after that, you're gonna uh, put the Print button. Yeah, and also I recommend you to use the the, um, the scene view and also game view as well <coughs> because you can see how the calibration works. And then yeah, you need yeah, there's a mouse here, and then I'm gonna put here, and then right click, and then I'm gonna put uh, left left arrow, left arrow, left arrow, left arrow. The the dis the the distance between the <coughs> this one I mean these are gonna closer when I put the left one and then when I click uh, right hello it's going to be the distance between those lenses are gonna um, you know like this yeah right 
right, 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 I mean, right arrows. And also when I put, put a up, up arrow button, up arrow button, and then down arrow button, it's going to look like this. Up, up, down, down, and then when I put the left bracket, yeah, I think this is for the, the depth, maybe. No, I mean, like, the distance between your the display and the, the lens. So, yeah, when I put the left bracket and when I put the right bracket, it looks gonna be like this. Yes. <sighs> and also, there are some tips for the calibration setting. I mean, not the calibration setting. Well, for the project monster, project monster, if we want to disable the, these, uh, you know, the green points or these, uh, you know, the lines, you can put this one, Runtime Gizumo Manager. So yeah, you can't see the uh, the green points and also you don't need, you can't see the lines, right? That it will help. Yeah, it looks gonna be like this. Yep, and then there's some more tips, well, <clears throat> I forget, yeah, after setting up your uh, calibration, I recommend you to disable a AR tracer, yep, there it is, yeah, there's a AR trace, a ray tracer, yeah, uh, when you, after setting up uh, the, the calculation, you need to dis disable these, yeah, for frame rates. If you want to dis disable your hand model like this, uh, you, what you need to do is you need to disable this one, and then you can see, right now you can see the the hand model, even I uh, putting my hand in front of the leap motion sensor.